When it comes to establishing them, you need to communicate early and often. I really encourage coaches. I got a you know college division one coach, and she's got a bunch of players coming in the, in the next uh, two weeks here. And she was thinking about communicating them in the first open kind of gym, you know, practice session summer. And I was like, and the, actually, you know, the first, you know, the first uh, time the team's getting together is a barbecue though on a Sunday, right? And I was just like, well, why don't you, you, you don't, it doesn't need to be a damper. It's just like, hey, remember our non-negotiables at the end of that barbecue when everybody's leaving, you know, these are the things we need for you when you show up to practice tomorrow, you're on time you know, rested and ready or, you know, whatever those three things are. Um, I've seen coaches write them in letters to their team or emails beforehand, before tryouts. Just remember, these are the three most important things. We also need to explain the why. I remember hearing a pastor speak about, you know, why God has rules or, you know, standards and, and he communicates them. And he, he said, it's for your benefit. It's for the benefit of the community. It's for the benefit of your relationship with God. And I was like, ah, oh, that's like my non-negotiables. They're for that benefit of the individual. They're for the good of the culture, the team, and they're for the, for the good of the relationship. If you're not on time, we're going to have a hard time getting along here. So you're explaining the why they're important. I think it's important to make them visible. Monty's got them above his desk. You, could, I've got a hockey academy that's got them on the wall of every locker room but you almost want to make them visible. I almost think they're more important to make those visible than core values, right? Because I can see what you value by how, you know, the standards that you're holding. Um, one real powerful little tip here, if you really feel like you might struggle with buying from your players, I love a coach to do this and say, hey, you know, put your team together at team meeting, 15 minute team meeting. Just say, guys, what do you need from me to be successful this season? You guys come up with five things, that you, expectations of a coach. I'll be back in 10 minutes. And then you just walk back in in 10 minutes and you say, all right, what do you guys got for me? Right now, then you could turn around and say, all right, I got you. I got you. I'll, I'll work to those. You know, These are my non-negotiables. These are my expectations of you. Just do these things and we're going to be okay. 